Hello, welcome to The Blowing Artist. It's really nice to see you all again. I know it's been a very long time since I've been on here. I haven't been well. Um, I've had something called Cryptosporidium, which has been horrible. <laughs> and in case anyone is sitting out there in YouTube land eating their breakfast or their dinner, I'm not going to go into it. No. Just to say, it lasts quite a long time. I'm of the few people I know who've had it, I'm the only one who stayed out of hospital, so it wasn't very nice at all. And um, it's very yucky. That meant that when I did get well, I was behind on lots of stuff. I had a grant from the Arts Council that the month of March, my month to do the project that I'd put in for the grant. And I was in the middle of that and that was happening. So I was doing lots of advertising and website stuff and then I got sick so as soon as I could get better I was just doing all of that so YouTube was bottom of the pile of priorities but thank you for the people who subscribed since I've been away and I really appreciate it because it's actually nice to come back and think well there is somebody watching this it's fab you're not on your tod so so what's coming up in this one I'm going to focus on sketchbook work um I've got a couple of ones I'll show. One is going to be about uh, daffodils. I got a little bit sick of doing landscapes. I wasn't looking properly. Um, I don't know whether that was because I was a little bit under the weather still, but you know what the rule of thumb is. If you aren't looking properly at something and you're, you're getting bored of it, change, do something different. So I've done sketchup work, daffodils, and also I, because of the weather changing, mind you, I say that, and it's been snowing again. 8th of April, snow. It was freezing yesterday. So, oh, also, <laughs> so when you watch the video, I'll have gloves on because it was freezing and we've run out of oil and we're waiting for the delivery. Um, yeah, chilly yesterday, so gloves on. Um, and just a few tips. I hope you enjoy. It's lovely to see you all. I hope you're well. Thanks for watching. Thought I'd show you this. I was teaching a class and I used a vase full of daffodils. That might not look like a vase full of daffodils. That's a continuous line drawing. It was a beginner I was teaching and I was just trying to teach them to see the shapes instead of drawing what they thought a daffodil looked like. So you could see it if you zone in on some of the things and then when you zoom back, I suppose you can see the shapes of things. You can see the teapot as well, and some of the table. I joined in as well. So I've got some drawings too, just so I can point out, because it was a, a complete beginner class, so uh, I, w I just wanted to be able to point out what you should be looking at and should be doing. I won't show the students work, because that wouldn't be a very nice thing to do, because they haven't given me permission. But I'll show you a few others. Now this started off as another continuous line drawing, and then that went into using pastels, which I really enjoyed. It's good fun. I hope they enjoyed. And then that was another one. Just trying to teach the, a very basic way of putting down color and seeing the differences you know, in the lights and the darks and picking out how the darks were different tones of colour. So I just kept going. So we did continuous line drawing, negative spaces. There's the negative space drawing. That's a good one. That's funny. Do you know, is that a negative space one? No. I was enjoying myself so much I kept going. So 
after the class, I did some daffodils in my sketchbook. I really enjoyed it. Sorry. All this hanging down. So this was acrylic, ink, wax crayon. And then where's the last one? Do And we've just had Easter here, so I turned this one into a card and gave it to my mother-in-law, sister-in-law. Right, there you go, that's a better view. I'll show you the card. Come out really well on the printer. It's such a good printer. Mind you, that's such good paper as well. Very nice printing paper. Hannah Muller. And the printer's talking to me. I just thought I'd video this. I've come back to working on this sketch. It, I know it looks pretty much done, but I thought I'd build up the focal point in the middle and give it a few more layers. You know, s sketches that you do on location, you can only do so much because of time and weather, especially over here in Ireland. But I thought I'd do a few more layers of texture especially as I got the oil pastels and I hadn't really experimented them very much on sketches so I thought I'd have a go on this I know it's not abstract and I've been doing a lot of abstracts lately but this is more about experiment um, with different types of mark making especially with different types of materials and oil pastel is just absolutely fabulous for this you can smush it everywhere and just create those effects very painterly and I really enjoyed doing this now there are pencils as well that I use they're very very cheap pencils the ones in the glasses in front of the sketch they're the expensive ones like Cran Dash and Polychromos but I picked up these pencils from a shop in the UK um, B&M if anybody knows that one or Ireland have it as well and they're really they're like a pound store or a dollar store and they had lots of art supplies in there and I bought some for a friend's little girl and she really liked it and I had a go of it and it was excellent quality for two pounds for a set of 12 coloured pencils and they were metallic colours so I wanted to experiment with the different metallic colours and god I thought they were great I thought they were brilliant fun, absolutely brilliant fun for what you get and it's something a little bit different outside the norm using metallic colours and usually when you get a set of uh, like professional artist pencils the only metallics you get are silver, bronze and gold and these are metallic purples, pinks, greens and all different shades of metallic colours so I thought they were absolutely great fun. And if there's a B&M near you, go and get some and have a play with them because they are really good fun. Yeah. Um, and if I can find a link to buy them anywhere, I'll put the link below. See if you want to get them because I absolutely love them. And the funniest thing is I watched a YouTube video not long ago of a girl testing pencils and she was testing um, designer pencils, like fashion designers making pencils. Somebody like Gucci or something like that. And she paid $900 for a set of pencils. And th they weren't made by proper pencil manufacturers. Fashion house. And they were absolute rubbish. And she lambasted them. <laughs> she just, she said, look at the state of them. And they looked just awful. 
but these were fabulous. So I would say get out there, go to B&M and have a go. And now here's the close-up of the finished sketch. I was really happy with it in the end. Really happy. It's nice to put on a few more layers and add a bit more interest to the sketch. Really enjoyed it. Quite, I'd say, semi-abstract with the marks. Especially when the oil pastel went down, but I really enjoyed it, yeah. Get out there and try those pencils. Definitely. I did do another one as well. I had another sketch. Um, I'll put this one up. Here it is. Yep, this sketch. This was the same building from a different angle. And uh, I had another go on top of that with some water-soluble wax crayons and pastels and had fun with them. I'm much happier with the light and the dark that are made with them. With the new texture. I definitely say what rework into the stuff that you do on location. Sometimes you just get distracted with all the other stuff going on. And I said I think looking back at your old sketches and creating a bit more texture makes a better sketch and I think you learn more. Well, that's my take on it. <laughs> Well, we came out for another little walk. There's the snow in the distance and over the hills. Chilly April day. Dogs are loving it though, having a chat with the sheep. There you go. Still no blooms on the trees. Oh well, they're having a good fun. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Take care.